Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at the trailer for the new game pack. So let's just go ahead and dive in first and then we'll talk about everything later. My friend Felicia does not get my job. Ooh. The other day she tells me being an interior decorator it's must be Tina. so fun. You spend other people's <gasps> money just to make what you want. I'm like, um, sure. It's not easy making dreams come true, girl. Oh my god. So this video is to help Felicia and anyone else out there learn what it takes to get in on the interior decorator. Yeah, I love game. that. As a decorator, a passion for a design. Oh, is the drafting famous. table. But it really <gasps> kitchen comes down stuff. To oh my god. For. The couch. In a way, you're more like a therapist. You listen to their needs and ideas and mm -hmm. then gently guide them to a solution. Example, I'm on a gig. Bedroom remodel for Bob and Eliza. BT dubs. Great couple. <laughs> Super healthy relationship. Anyway, I'm doing my thing asking my questions. What's your favorite decor? Oh, look at the little tent. Colors just gobbling it all up. Yum, yum, yum. So they have a toddler, Iggy, Aww. cute as a button. And Eliza has this brand master design idea of joining their room with a nursery by a way of a fabulous, her words, hmm. Not mine. New walk-in closet. Yes. Okay, kind of dig it. But a little helicopter parody, don't you think? What happens when tiny toddler Iggy turns into a hormonal teenager Iggy? Mm -hmm. Teenagers Problems. are an emotional roller coaster. You're not gonna want that walking through your bedroom. Anyway, <laughs> some like mistakes that are made. Not to mention the designs <gasps> clients have done themselves that I'm so there good. to fix. Bedrooms full of bunk beds, <gasps> pools so in the many. kitchen, okay. countless spaces of people not thinking beyond the function. Jesus. But that's where I come in. After We're I got the detail with all the up. client once, it's just me and the space. A mm. moment to take it all in and feel what it gives back. Mm. And then I get to work. Of course, I want to make the client happy. Make oh their spaces my. better than their dreams. But to do <gasps> that, sometimes I got to go over budget. It may affect my reputation. Oh, I love but they'll it. probably thank me later. Besides, I've got a secret weapon. All this Once build they see the stuff. magic I've made, they're not thinking about budget and the look on their faces and their eyes. You've changed their lives. It looks so personal. good. That moment at well. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, hardworking people just trying to make it work. Wait, and my mom. She was determined to make that little apartment her own. It had charm, love. It was our home. So when I see my clients, I really see someone trying to make their dreams come true. And no matter how ridiculous those dreams may be, I get to make them real. Maybe you can do that too. Wait. Seeing the representation in this trailer for the trans community is so huge. Even something simple as including that in a trailer. Wow, that just like hit me because I saw the flag and then I noticed the sim and just, oh my God, that's beautiful. Anyways, <laughs> this is coming out on June 1st. So pretty freaking soon, actually. Now we're going to go ahead and dissect the trailer. I just had to take a moment and tweet that out because representation like that in the game, especially in something as big as a trailer, is so important for people to you know feel seen if that makes sense so i'm just i'm just happy to see that the sims continues to do trailers like this where they do you know show representation and stuff like that so yeah i just wanted to quickly bring awareness to that in the trailer because i think that's really important so Anyways, let's go ahead and dive in and check everything out. So I did notice at the beginning that we do seem to have a new hair and new earrings too. These like chunkier hoops, which I've been really loving. I found like a pair of CC hoops that I really love. They're not exactly like this, but chunky hoops are where it is at right now for me. So then over here we have, of course, her brand new hair, his hair. We have like this new jumper, which is giving me a lot of um, the similar vibes that Paranormal gave me as well. Same with this whole shirt vest thing and these shorts. Overall, the, the aesthetic of this pack, I'm literally vibing for. It's not even funny, like the furniture and everything. But it looks like we also have new boots. And then the furniture in general, just like seeing it, throughout like this uh trailer i just i'm in love oh yeah here we get the close-up of the earrings um so those are also brand new there we have the before and the after and these paintings i just love minimalistic art like this so i've been looking for pieces like this for my room because i really want to redecorate and it's so funny because the kind of vibe that's going on in this game pack is kind of what i want 
for my room, if that makes sense. I also wanted to point out, if you guys see this painting or this picture right here, if you guys remember back when the freelancer career came out, they came out with like a bunch of like grouped up paintings together. Like it was a huge thing and you couldn't separate them. So I'm wondering if they separated them, if that might be in an update or if it's a part of the pack. I really like this wallpaper, I'm not gonna lie. This couch does remind me kind of of the nifty knitting one, uh, although the cushion part does look a lot flatter. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I really love it. And then we have a bunch of cabinets, which they do align very well together. I don't know if there's they connect purposefully or if it's just, you know, you can, you can do this, which I actually really like the idea of having a whole wall full of like shelving like this. I think it looks really nice. And it fills space too, if you have like an empty wall in your house. This does look like a drafting table, like a different variation from like the one that you saw in The Sims 3, for example, with the architecture career from Ambitions. And then up here, it looks like she has like a dream board. So kind of like how the stylist career had their board as well. I can't remember what it was called, but it looks like that's kind of the similar situation here in the same pad here too. Oh my God. The kitchen, I can't begin to explain to you how long we have longed for a brand new kitchen set, like a full kitchen set. You know, we got the cabinets, not no stupid shelves. I'm sorry, I'm over the shelves. I want actual, you know, cabinets um, up top, not, you know, anything random. But I did notice that we have like a stove without the top, but there's a top right here. So I'm guessing you could like, you can separate them, which I do like the concept of that. So kind of live it. We also have like this toaster oven, which I don't think we have already, right? I don't believe we do. And then these succulents, gorge, love them. I don't know if we got a new fridge. It doesn't look like it. Uh, oh my God. And then the living room, this couch. Oh, like I'm wondering if these are pieces you can put together or if it's like one thing. I'm gonna assume it's pieces because I doubt that you could like, I don't know, unless there's a whole new system coming out for couches in a patch update, that'd be iconic, I'm saying. But look at more of these paintings, like, Stunning. And I think these are also new curtains. Don't know if that's a new laptop. Uh, definitely new desk, new shelving here. I like these like little mini art sculptures. This pack seems like it would be the perfect pack for a lot of clutter items, which I believe we are getting quite a bit of them from what I'm seeing here. And then we also have this plant here, which will more, well, I guess more like wheat, I think. I think this is wheat. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, wait, are these new sliding doors? Is that a door or a window? No, I think it's a sliding door. These windows might be new. I, I, I'm not really an expert on windows. We have this hair here. I can't tell if this is a shaven off section or if it's like pulled back, it could be, but we do have a new skirt, which it does look like it's a little bit more high-waisted too. So love that and a crop top. So, you know, thumbs up there. And then there's this outfit. It feels very like, early 2000s to me with like the little um sweater over top and then him this does look like a brand new like necklace combo i could be mistaken but it doesn't look like we've had this before this outfit definitely is new i don't think this is like a two-piece thing it does look like it's a one piece and then this hair i i don't know if it's new it kind of looks like the hair from, I don't know if it's base game, but that one girl that lives with Ulrich, not even her name, in Windenburg. I, I don't know what, if this is new or not. Oh my God, but look at this hair from the side. Wait, that looks really good. And I really love that they're adding the baby hairs onto the hairs. Like that's, that's so good. Moving on, we have a new little dress for the little girl, which I love. Just like seeing this now after seeing that room scene just like gives like a warm feeling in my heart i'm not gonna lie at miss eliza wearing a new shirt that's for sure i don't know about the pants you can barely see them and these look like they'd be new glasses but again i don't really look at eliza all that much so i'm not sure if those are new you know what i mean but the career does look like it works kind of like the freelancer career or the acting career so i'm gonna assume there is gonna be a skill and the more you level it up the the higher paying gigs you're gonna get you also have this like little cute tent for toddlers, which I hope that they can sleep in. Uh, I think that'd be really cute. We have a new chair, another new desk. So we have two different desks. Um, and of course, bedside table, new bed, a new rug too. 
there's another one right here. I think that's new. It doesn't look like we're getting a lot of new toddler stuff. I would would have hoped for a new toddler bed that would fit like the aesthetic of all this. I think they could have made a really cute one unless they have one and they're not showing it, but I feel like they would have showed it if they had it, you know? Uh, what I love about this is we do have a bunch of new closet stuff. So you can actually make like proper walk-in closets. Now you could technically already do that. I know Get Famous has a lot of like stuff like this where you can and you have like racks that came with like Moschino and Get Famous. But I really like this because it looks like you can actually kind of put them together and make it like look very cohesive. But I'm seeing that there's decorative shoes. So kind of like that. Unless it's debug, which I'm going to assume they're not. I've always wanted to have decorative shoes and I've thought about getting custom content for that stuff, but I have it. And there you have a bunch of like decorative boxes or not decorative boxes. I mean, yeah, they are decorative, but to act as storage in your closet, which I really like. Now this situation confuses me. I don't know if this is just showing that you have single beds or if you can actually put single beds together to make them one whole bed. That's the vibe I'm getting here, but it could just be for the purpose of this trailer that they're showing it where you have like where they split them up like that if you can connect two single beds together that'd be really cool and then here we have them as a teen we have the new bunk bed as well more i love how many like cabinet storage pieces we have or storage cabinets probably that way around i can't tell if that's a new shirt i think it is i didn't even really think about it those pants might be new too I love this hair on him. He's just a whole like 70s vibe to me. Then we have these shorts, top. So here we have the bunk beds. Oh, I didn't even realize this desk had like a second tier to it. This must be a third desk they're including in this then. But I do like that they fixed the whole bunk beds thing. It looks like you can actually put desks under here, a couch even. We have this bunk bed design. And then um, that one as well. Oh, I thought this was a fridge first. Wait, no, I think that is a new fridge. Okay, I don't know why they have a pool in their kitchen, but I mean, go off. I mean, you do you, honey. Oh yeah, that definitely is a new hair. The one that we saw at the beginning, because the braid looks like it goes all the way around the head. We're at the goth's house. Oh, hold on. That's a different dress. I think this is also a new outfit for kids. Oh my God. I love this. Like, if you could describe my ideal furniture, I would say this. Like, I love the aesthetic of this so much it's ridiculous <laughs> it looks so good i love this little poof thing as well you know what would be cool though is if like you put this in front of a chair and your sim was able to like put their feet up that's one thing i would like or have like recliner chairs that like let you do that i don't think there are any oh this dress that's new as well wait i'm totally like glossing over this couch I mean, maybe you can't connect them I really like this couch. Ah, I'm so excited. This is so cute. Oh, yeah, look. I think you can separate the couches because look, that's like the, just the like, I forgot what this is called. Like the lounge type of section with another just seat. I guess you can. Look how good this looks. Just like a whole like media stand. I'm pretty sure you can just make that together. I feel like... It looks like you can like connect them together and like they would like attach together. Kind of how the tiny living furniture, like the Murphy bed, and then you can like attach the shelves, uh, like the bookshelves to the side of it. If you know what I'm talking about, it looks so good. Oh no, she's upset. Oh wow. But at least your house looks good. So I don't want to be upset about that. I feel like this is so off my alley. Even though like I'm not a build channel, I love decorating rooms. So... This is gonna be so fun. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. And the colors, the colors are so beautiful. Oh, look at this sink. It's just floating. Wait, I love that. You could like put storage underneath there. More clutter space. Wow. I'm, I'm really excited for this. Oh, this is so pretty. She's crying. I love it too. The bathroom. I'm not, I haven't seen any new toilets, surprisingly enough, but new bathtub and then this one oh this just like literally i love this i love this so much good going good going sims team oh and then these photos are so cute as well like look at them wait new boots and this outfit too oh look at them but, oh this outfit Ooh, hello grandma there's another sectional couch here love it 
I'm really excited for this. Okay, so they've also done a blog post for the pack. So all about clients. Take it from me, the best design start with the Sims you're creating for. I never go into a project without getting to know my clients first, at least not if I plan to be successful. Everyone has a preference, you know? Likes and dislikes matter when it comes to decorating, so ask questions. Find out their favorite color and music genre and decor style. Wait, favorite color, music genre? Do you think they might add those sections into Create a Sim again, like they did in Sims 3? I don't know. Anyways, ask about the things that inspire them, if they have any hobbies, what their favorite pieces are, walk them through color swatches, and maybe some of the work in your portfolio. Take a few before pictures for the client too. After all, the more you know about someone, the easier it is to imagine a space that will truly bring them joy. Remember to keep it professional though. Shower before you arrive. Trust me, every interaction impacts your reputation. And if you want to move up to bigger gigs, that matters. And we have all about renovations. Once you've gotten the feel for what your client wants, nudge them out the door and turn your attention to the space around you. Simply follow the budget, the client's preferences, the available tile count, and the client's actual ask. Sidebar, okay, yes, sometimes the request gets a little weird. It's your job to do what you can though. I can share some wild stories, but client designer confidentiality is a professional courtesy. Start with an empty space by selling off the items you can't use. It's a good budget tip too. Then it's all up to you to make your client's dreams come true. Maybe Sims tend to be a little messy, so why not play around with modular shelving units for innovative storage solutions? Open concept is very in right now, and sectional sofas divide living spaces from the kitchen perfectly while keeping a roomy, airy atmosphere. And speaking of the kitchen, built-in appliances like ovens and stovetops save space too. For kids' rooms, bunk beds are my go-tos. As children grow, it's easy to change the configuration and add a desk for homework. All about reveals. Once you've perfected the space, invite the client back to see the results. Personally, this is the moment I live for. The first reaction means the world to me. Whether Sims cry, throw their arms around me, or immediately start daydreaming. I always know when I've done a good job and it's amazingly fun to show off the before and after photos. So many factors go into whether or not a gig is successful. Did you stay within the budget? Build around your client's preferences? Complete your objective? Were you respectful and fun? Hopefully the answer to all of those questions is yes. Not only does it make your client happy and make you feel good, but improves your reputation as a decorator. After all, people love to talk about things they love, so make them love their space. Speaking of reputation, the more you get your name out there, the more gigs open up to you. Start with something small like a room remodel. By the time you've reached my level, you'll be redesigning the neighborhood bar. Client referrals make a real difference, but I used to blog and promote myself on social media too. Now you can watch me on the home decorator channel. Oh, is there a new channel? Every sim is different. I've said that a few times now, but I really mean it. In households with more than one occupant, sometimes it gets tough to balance what they want. Maybe two sims have different color preferences. If you can't make both work together, find some common ground to focus on instead and never assume you know what a client will ask for. I had an adult client ask for kids' tent once. Turns out it was for their nephew. And last but not least, the most important advice I have just have fun with it. Remember why you chose this path, your dream homemaker after all. But with that being said, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm really excited to see how this pack is gonna play out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if there's anything that you particularly like about this pack, I would love to hear that as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.